Fuck you, Billy. It's my house. I don't have to wear a shirt if I don't want to. You could go kiss my fucking ass, you instigating cocksucker, you. Oh, I've been hearing some very bad stories about you. How you abused your grandmother and asked her for money and she... Poor woman was sick and you robbed some blind man disabled out of a, I don't know, to get his gun or, but um, you were thrown out of a festival for, now this is not coming from me, this is what was sent to me by email, you know, and uh, because I don't report or make up stories, these things were sent to me by email. That uh, you were accused of, um, you're thrown out of a festival for sexually harassing women at the festival. You were thrown out. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Just had a nice dinner here before. Sorry about that. So, uh, we're going to have to look into this a lot further there. And see what these uh, people that obviously you've harassed and bothered. And I think it was on the um, Tony D podcast. Yeah, we sent that to me. They interviewed all your buddies out there. And it doesn't seem like you were a very, very nice guy to these people. You instigated problems with them. Chat rooms, going after women of some sort, whether you're married or whatever. I don't know, just some adultery there going on. Really bad. Anyway, I got my TV program at Paul's. Just a reminder that I, yes, I am back from celebrating Juneteenth. <laughs> yes, I did. And I will be on the air this Wednesday from 7 to 9. And, uh, you know, it's really too bad that I really don't have any, not that I really care. I just bring it up because uh, I want to call everybody a scumbag. Um, I know there are people out here who are not my enemies, but uh, we don't know uh who these people are, what they're all about, and what's up with them. But uh, I have settled in into doing the greatest internet radio show of all time, the Crazy Joe Show. I mean, so many people are starting in such a short time of coming back. I think this will be my second week on the air. I've accomplished so much. I've got, I, I, I've distributed a lot of my business cards and, um, you know, I've done a lot of social media promotion. And uh, every day I'm learning about uh, different things that could benefit my uh, promotion. And because um, I'm willing to work as, uh, as best as I can and as hard as I can. Ooh, shit. It's almost time for Betty Bye. You know, you, when you're a great internet radio station like me, you have to uh, get your rest. Very important. But we're going to have a fantastic show. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Billy's going to like it. He's going to like it a lot. As all my shows are amazing. And... Um, I really don't have much to say now to come on here. I mean, I, other than the fact that I'm going to promote my show. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't feel like, I mean, there's nothing to talk about those jerk-offs in New Hampshire. Those sap-sucking um, maple syrup scumbags who like to take it off the tree and, you know, grab a nice syrup. In their hand, and then they shove it in their ass, and then they lick it. I think that's called a New Hampshire sandwich. Yeah. 
But um, I don't really have much to talk about. Uh, I'm no longer interested uh, in those scumbags in New Hampshire. They're all a bunch of fucking retards. They all suck. Including Ratso. Doesn't know how to do a fucking show. Uh, well, all right, maybe that's a wrong statement, but out of the whole bunch, he's the only one that's got, I guess, life in them, but I don't like the guy, and I'll never like the guy, and, uh, especially, uh, his, uh, cunt over there with the big fucking mouth, the Yenta bitch, I especially don't like her, and, um, I don't like none of these people. But why? I don't need to really worry about it because they don't really mean anything to me. The only thing I need to worry about is the creation and the success of the Crazy Joe show. That's the only thing I need to worry about. I don't need to worry about Ratso, Fatso, Public Axo, or uh, Java Scumbag out there, Dickhead, uh, Dirk Dickwad. And, uh, and of course, Billy, and uh, Billy Brokeback Mountain Fag Bastard. And, you know, I don't need to worry about these people. These people are nothing to me, okay? That doesn't mean that I'm not going to rib them a new, you know, uh, a, new, a new asshole from time to time. They know what they did, and they have to uh, suffer the consequences for that. And they need to be severely punished, you know, but uh, they're 10,000 miles away. So I'm not going to let people that are 10,000 miles away affect my life, especially my broadcast life. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, they're not going to do that. Uh, They're far away, very far away. And uh, I'm in the greatest state in the world, the greatest city in the world, even though we have a lot of issues and problems, but we're New York strong, and uh, we will always defeat the forces that are trying to um, destroy life in New York. And there's a lot of forces. Oh, by the way, before I forget, the monkeypox. You know, AIDS came from monkeys in Africa. Now, what? It's been, what, 30 years since AIDS or 25 years since AIDS? And now there's a... uh, And they attributed that to gay, gay sex. Now, 25, 30 years later, history is repeating itself. Monkeypox comes from gay... Uh, people. Uh, I thought it was something that was transmitted from uh, Africa, which it could have been. But uh, they're saying that this monkeypox is from gay sex and gay relationships. And of course, they had their big fucking asshole parade on uh, Sunday. But uh, it just goes to show that this type of behavior and I find it to be very deviant is responsible for spreading diseases like um, AIDS and now monkeypox so there's your pride your pride week there Uh, let's celebrate a disease perpetuated by the uh, gay community It's not a pure community. There's a lot of deviates in that community. A lot of... It's hard to say. I mean, I want to say it, but I don't know if I could say it. I won't say it, but... These are... Satan's evil people. And even the church doesn't have the balls to stand up to the evilness. The evilness has even penetrated the Vatican. We have a very weak Pope who doesn't put his foot down 
and defend our religion, which is Catholic, we believe what we believe, that gay existence is against God and the inner workings of God. And it's in the Bible. And uh, these people in these religious communities better start standing up for their religion because their religion is their life. This is the most evil and of deviant behavior and we don't see except uh, there was a black pre a preacher and God bless him, he stood up against the immorals and the indecency of being gay. Maybe we'll catch it tomorrow. But I will be on here to remind everyone. The show of shows. <laughs>